I'm coming at you from fabulous Las Vegas. You heard me right. I'm back in Vegas. Now, did I record the flight? Yes. Did I record some sights in Vegas for you guys? Yes. Is any of it ever going to post? No. Why? Because I brought the cord that charges the batteries, but I didn't bring the part that actually charges the battery. Oh, gosh. So we're rocking it old school using the cell phone. I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about comfort zones. I am way outside of my comfort zone right now. During a worldwide pandemic, I changed jobs. I'm still in the same career, different company, different role. I'm now in sales and I'm pretty excited. I'm happy to be here. I feel like I belong here. I love sales. My grandfather was a salesman. In fact, a fun fact about my grandfather, in New York City, at one time, in New York City, he was the number one Lincoln Continental dealer, salesman of all time. Maybe not of all time, at the time. He has a ring from Lincoln with diamonds in it that he got because he sold so many Lincoln Continentals. My biological father was a salesman. We just talked about it at his memorial. What you guys don't know, to sidestep for a moment, is my biological father passed away a week and a half ago. The week that I was on my final week at my old job, had my two week notice in, I leave on a Sunday and he passes away that Friday before. So on Sunday, we had his memorial. At his memorial, one of his sisters were talking about his salesmanship, how he sold himself and he sold everything around him all the time. He was always on to the next sale. I would say it's in my blood. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to change. I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. What's really difficult is to start new to start fresh, to come in from a non-sales role. There's lots of questions I have, lots of insecurities, a lot of knowledge that I'm lacking there. I'm excited to dive in though. I'm excited to get outside of my comfort zone and push myself to grow, push myself to perform. I'm setting a goal for myself and that's to learn as much as I can about sales in this specific company till the end of the year. My goal is to simply absorb information. My goal right now is to become a sponge. But after the first of this year, mark my words, I will be the number one salesman in this company by December of next year. Sounds like a bold claim and it is, but that's my goal. It's not a pipe dream. A pipe dream is just an idea I want. Goals, I have action items and action steps in place to ensure that I reach my goal. I will be the number one salesman in this company. Mark my words, follow along, follow along. Why should you step out of your comfort zone? You should step out of your comfort zone because that's where growth happens. Far too often we live in habit. We get up, we brush our teeth, we get dressed, we get a bite to eat, we head to work, we do the same thing every single day. It's like tying our shoes. It's like breathing. We don't think about those actions while we're doing them, we just do them. I don't wanna do that in my career. I don't wanna look back and think, man, what if I would have just stepped out of my comfort zone a couple of times? What if I just would have pushed myself a little harder? What would be different? A lot. And now's my time to make that happen. Now's the time 
to make the difference. I'm excited for this. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is I get my old job back or a job similar to that, one that I know how to do. But if I don't try, I'll never know. And I know you're probably thinking, man, you say that really confidently, you'll just get your job back. One thing I've learned when I was young, and, and if you haven't learned this yet, don't burn bridges. The minute I put my two week notice in, my COO of the company said, if you're unhappy with this move, you're welcome back. That's pretty exciting. It gives me hope that if I can't do this, that my old job's there, no matter what. But it also reminds me of a story that I was told about the Vikings. Do you guys know the story about the Vikings? Vikings, allegedly, some of you like that word, allegedly, Vikings would get in their ship and they would sail out to new places that they've never been before. They would sail to a new country or a new land, a plot of land, a piece of land. They'd, they'd sail somewhere. When they got there, they would turn around and burn the boat. They would sink the ship. Why would they do that? They do that because it forces them to overcome all the adversities. It forces them to make that decision work. You have to make it work at that point. You can't leave. Your exit plan is gone. You've committed wholeheartedly, 100%. You have committed to staying. You burned your boat. Your only way out of there, you burned it. Now, do I think that's good business advice? No. Do I think it's good life advice? In theory, yes. You got to mentally burn the boat. You can't actually burn the boat. <laughs> If you actually burn the boat, you're going to ruin your name of business and no one will want to do business with you. You don't want to be a bad businessman. You don't want to be bad at business. And I don't say businessman, business person. You don't want to be a bad business person. You want people to do business with you. It's really important the older you get to realize that. Don't burn bridges but burn bridges. In your mind, tell yourself you burned the bridge. You burned the boat. Up here. You got to get out of your comfort zone, man. You've got to commit to something wholeheartedly. You've got to put your back against a wall. And it's got to be you versus whatever it is that's standing on your way from growth. You know, in my industry, I wanted to be a director at a property. So bad. I dreamt of it when I was just a technician and I made it. I achieved the goal that I had set for myself in my early 20s and I, I hit it in my early 30s. And immediately my other instinct was I've always wanted to be a sales rep. So I rode the director thing out for a while, did floor management and here I am in sales. It was really hard to walk away from something that I was already comfortable at, that I was already good at, that I already have all the knowledge and all the tools in my tool belt up here, okay? I have all the tools. I have that knowledge. I could have stayed and made a very comfortable career out of it. But instead, I got out of my comfort zone and took a chance. Now, one of the best things you can do is take a chance and bet on yourself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm betting on myself that I'm smart enough, I'm sharp enough, I have enough personality. I got my chops in this business. I built relationships. I did not burn the boat or the bridge. I did here, but not literally. I think it's gonna be good. And now my goal is to be the number one sales rep for this company by December, 2021. And believe me, you'll follow along on the channel, I hope, once I get my camera charged. Oh, why didn't you bring the charger? I don't know. I want it. I want it. Why? Why didn't I bring the charger? Yo, you had one job. 
grab the battery, grab the battery chargers. Grab the extra battery, grab the charger that charges the charger, but I didn't grab the actual charge piece. Oh, it's killing me. It's killing me. We are back to recording on the iPhone. Let's go.